Hi, welcome back to our studio practice. In this session, I would like to walk you through the working steps for rendering a simple turntable animation. Before we begin, I hope you have already completed this rendering exercise and equip yourself with the basic know-how in setting up a mental ray sunlight system. Okay, let's open up our Maya applications. Go to File and open the provided working files. You should be able to see a simple modular structure with a human dummy like before. Let's turn off the grid and we shall split our viewport into a layout of two. Go to panels, look for layouts and choose two panes side by side. The viewport shall split into two with one of the perspective view in either sides. To generate an animated sequence, we need to create a camera. Go to the menu of Create, look for Cameras, and select Camera. You shall see a camera is created and set on the origin. Let's click on the Translation Manipulator for locating its whereabouts in our perspective viewport, and we shall put it out from the origin. The scale of the camera is quite small, and you have to zoom multiple times to see it clearly. Let's switch to the Scale Manipulator and scale up the camera size. This would help to give a better visibility. Now go to the channel box and change the naming of the camera to render cam. Once done, we shall switch our site viewport to our render cam's view. In uh, this view, you only need to navigate as per normal for framing your viewing preferences and you shall see the render cam will reposition itself from the perspective viewport too. Let's turn on the shading and wireframe. Next, we shall lock our render cam's position. Go to the channel box, highlight all the available attributes, and right mouse button click on it. Choose Lock Selected. You could see the camera is no longer can be rotate or move. With the basic camera work done, we will move on to work on the turntable motion. In this demonstration, we shall render our sample model in the direction of rotation Y. To do so, we need to create a simple rig for creating the rotating motion. Go to the shelf, click on the Curve tab, choose the NURBS circle, and simply drag it in the perspective viewport. Don't worry about the scale, as long as the circle is larger than the sample model will do. In the channel box, Let's set its translation XYZ to 0 and rename it to Turntable Curve. Once done, select the sample model first, then Shift select the Turntable Curve. Go to the menu, look for the functions of Parent. Now our sample model has been placed under a new hierarchical order. The turntable curve has become apparent to the sample model. By selecting the curve, the sample model would be selected as well. All the transformation features like translations and rotation can now be controlled via a single curve. Before we proceed to set the rotating motions, let's go to the setting preferences and ensure the time has set to PAL timecode. Next, let's set the playback range to start from frame 1 to 300. With the playback height start at frame 1, go to the channel box, select the Rotate Y channel, and right mouse button click on it, choose Key Selected. You shall see the input box of Rotate Y turn to color-coded. This signifies that the curve Rotation Y has tied to a particular time frame. Let's repeat the same step at frame number 300. Select the Rotate Y channel, right mouse button click and choose Key Selected again. Next, let's scrub the timeline play height to frame 150 and try to rotate the y-axis 
to 75 degrees. Then, right mouse button click again, choose Key Selected. Now feel free to scrub along the timeline. You will see the model rotates from 0 degree to 75, then returning to its original positions. At the render cam viewport, let's simply hit on the spacebar to maximize its size. And turn on the resolution gate you would be able to see the default render size has set to the dimension of a 640 x 480. The border frame works like a viewfinder in a camera, where it signifies the render region. Let's hit the spacebar and return to the two viewports view again. In the perspective viewport, go to panels and switch it to the render view window, as we shall perform the test render actions in a short while. I shall turn off the polycount display for the time being for better visibility. Ok, try to click on the render functions at the render view window. You would see a visual being generated based on the perspective view and not render cam. Go to the render menu. Set the render preference to render cam. Here, you could see the rendered view match with our render cam's working viewport. By default, the render visual is based on the 4 3 ratios and not widescreen. Let's click on the render settings, change the render engine to Mental Ray. At the common tab, scroll all the way down. Set the image height to 360. This shall give us a 69 ratio. Hit render again, and you shall see the render view becomes much wider with some crop off. Let's readjust our render cam's view of view. We will need to unlock the render cam for resetting the viewing angle. Go to view, choose camera, at this channel box, select the channels and a right mouse button click on it, set to unlock selected. Now you could reset your field of view with your mouse. Once done, remember to lock the camera down again, and hit render once more. Hmm. This would give us a more comprehensive view. Click on the keep image functions for temporarily keeping the renders, so that we could use it to benchmark with other renders. Now, let's move on to configure the render settings again for output and animated sequence. At the common tab, let's give a new file name to the render sequence. Set the image format to TIFF and change your file name extension to name underscore number. Set the frame padding to 3 instead of 1. Next, remember to set the frame range correctly. Ensure the starting frame is 1 and ended at frame 300. And do make sure the renderable camera is our render camp, not perspective camp. With the right resolution setting, Let's check on the Maintain Aspect Ratios option too. Next, let's move on to the Quality tab. Set the Quality Presets to Productions and move on to the Indirect Lighting and create the Sunlight System. Once done, let's close the Render Settings window and hit Render Functions over the Render View window. And you shall see a whole new render with a decent lighting has been shown up. Let's switch back to the channel box for enlarging our viewport a little bit more. And you could click on the 1 to 1 ratio for a better view to examine your render. Or you could simply use your mouse scroll view for zooming in to the selected view. So far, everything looks fine. And before we proceed to the batch rendering process, let's save the working file for now. Once saved, 
let's switch our menu set to rendering. Go to render menu, choose batch render, and you will see the rendering engine is being initiated. Click on the script editor menu so you can get to see the rendering feedbacks better. Raycasting rendering is always a time consuming and would overload your CPU. Based on the render steel, each render would take up about 9 seconds. To better estimate the rendering time, simply times 300 frames with 9 seconds, you would get a returning value of 2700 seconds. To convert the value to minutes, let's divide it by 60. Overall, this batch rendering job would take up 45 minutes. During this period of time, please avoid to engage your machine to other computing tasks. Okay, the rendering has finally completed. Let's close the script editor, open up the render settings at the comment tab, we shall get to see where does our render image sequence being saved to. Close the render settings, and let's navigate and open up the images folder. Here, we shall see the batch of the animated sequence which started from frame 1 to frame 300. To view the render each sequence as an animated clip, go to the Windows Start menu. In the search box, type FCheck. Open up the FCheck application. FCheck is a Maya-based player for checking animated sequence. Go to File, choose Open Animations. Select the frame 1 and click Open. You would see the renders are slowly feeding into the FCheck applications. Let's set the playback speed to 25 frames per second. Once the entire sequence being buffered into the FCheck player, the animated sequence shall be played back at 25 frames per second. Okay, the animated sequence is playing back at full speed. With the FCheck applications, you could save and encode this sequence into a video clip format by providing you have the associated codec like QuickTime Movie. For these demonstrations, the machine does not come with a video codec. Plus, I'm going to show you another approach in splicing the render sequence with Adobe After Effects. Now, let's open up the After Effects applications. In the startup menu, choose Open Project and open up the provided After Effects template file. Go to File menu, choose Import, and do navigate your way to the render sequence. Select the first frame of the render, and remember to check on the TIFF sequence options, and click Open again. In the Alpha Channel dialog box, just choose Ignore and click OK. You shall see the entire animated sequence being imported to the project window. Now, right mouse button click on the sequence, choose Interpret Footage, select Main. Set the Assume frame rate to 25 frames per second, then click OK. You can now drag the entire sequence to the timeline window. Feel free to scrub the playhead of the timeline. Next, we are going to encode this sequence into an FLV file. At the project window, select the composition want. Then go to the composition menu, choose add to render queue. You could see our image sequence is at the queue now. Let's click on the lossless options. In the setting dialog box, set the format to FLV and leave the remaining settings untouched. Then click OK to exit. Lastly, let's specify where to output the file and give it a name. Once everything is set, just hit the render button and wait for the encoding process to complete.
you can open up the FLV file now and uh, congratulations, you have learned the basics of rendering. Thank you.